Despite all its challenges, 2020 has been good to you. You released a crowdsourced video with your song Kasoor in July, announced your sign up with the prestigious Electra Records in October. Tell us the truth. Did a loner like you get charged up by the solitude lockdown had to offer? Uh, <laughs> I feel like a lot of these things that you're talking about were in the works uh, even before the lockdown started, actually, or even before we any of us really knew that, you know, COVID was going to be such a... I mean, this year was going to be the way it is, you know, right? So, uh, I mean, you know, with, with Electra, we'd been talking to them since late last year. Kasur was recorded actually end of 2019. So, uh, yeah, it was all, all already uh, kind of in, in motion. Right. One personal anomaly you display, despite being millennial, is that you're fairly private as a person. You'd rather be left alone making music and writing your songs than be bothered by interviews like this. <laughs> But in the last few months, we've seen you uh, open up. You're talking more, you're more active on social media, you're even sharing moments from your relationship with your girlfriend. How has that transition from being a loner to a public personality been? Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, and again, I don't think this is just a lockdown thing. I think it's been a slow process in the works for... Uh, a few years now, you know, initially, like when I started doing what I do, I didn't really expect any of this uh, to become, you know, as big of a deal as it has. And I just, uh, you know, initially when it was like all this attention and it, 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 it was hard because I am, uh, you know, at the root of it, a fairly introverted person. I was not used to, you know, being so public and I did like keeping things private and, you know, do my thing and just kind of stay out of everybody's way, right? And uh, so that took a little bit getting used to, but eventually I realized that, look, uh, this is my life. This is what I've chosen. And I love, you know, doing what I do. I love, you know, living my life as, as a musician and touring and all of this. And all of this comes with it. You know, it's like you can't just pick one thing and then like, you know, do all the other stuff really badly. So, and, and I'm the kind of person who likes doing everything uh, to the best of my ability. So at some point I just kind of like switched and I was like, look, I got to just like embrace this reality that I'm in and do the best and function the best that I can, you know. So Pratik, you cater to a generation that is often labeled shallow and accused of having a short attention span. Yet there are some strong emotions you put out there in your songs. Do you reckon that these labels associated with millennials are somewhat misplaced? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, I know so many people who are uh, uh, my age, I mean, which are, you know, like, millennials, right? And uh, I, I, I don't really find them to be shallow. And, uh, and that's just how people are, man. I mean, uh, you know, there have been shallow people, you know, in the 20s and the 50s. In and every like generation. They, in every generation. And they're going to be more shallow people who are going to come. And there's also going to be really good people who are going to come. I mean, that's how humans are, you know. Right. 